small and I'm in the craft room and, and I want to do a sugar skull wall hanging. I have these pieces of wood which are left over from the doghouse craft from the pallets and I have this from Hobby Lobby. It's just a skull, a skull with crossbones which doesn't really fit with the sugar skull but we're going to take care of that. And then I had a couple more pieces of the wood that and if you can tell, I mean, they're not even at all. So I'm not, this is supposed to look like a very old and rough piece. And so this wood actually is perfect for that. Like it's broken on the edges, it's uneven. None of that matters. This, these two pieces are actually going to be in the back. I'm lining up these pieces and they're not even. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out on the front. But I'm going to take a little bit of my ultimate the ultimate crafters pick glue. You could use wood glue for this, you can use a weld bond, you can use whatever you want. Put some on. And take a stir stick. Spread it around, put some on here. This is just for a little additional keep it together support. I'm going to flip this stuff over and I have these screws and none of the screws match or anything either. And I measured them along the side of the wood so that to make sure that I'm not going to drill through the wood and have it sticking out the front and more importantly so I don't drill it to my table. I've got it drilled together and it's feeling pretty stable. We got the glue back there for a little extra support. Um, if you need to add a little more back there that's up to you but I think it feels pretty good. We have a very uneven surface here, which is fine. I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to use my sander on it and get it kind of evened out. Now what we want to do is give this an aged look. I gave it a rough sand with my sander. Um, it was 60 grit sandpaper. Kind of took the sharpness off of the edges here. Um, kind of evened this out a little bit. It's still got a little slope to it, but that's fine. But the, the edges are not, you know, super different. And I am going to use, this is the same thing we did on the dog house. I got some white paint. I got some gray paint. And I have some water. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. I'm going to kind of mush these around just a little bit. As you can see here, I'll get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to give it a wash. And the more water on here, the more washed out it's going to look. So I want to get in between. And this stuff will soak into the wood pretty nicely. Once it's covered front and back, I'm just going to let it dry. The paint has dried on the front and the back. And now what I want to do is take my stencil. And I just got this at Hobby Lobby. And it's obviously more of a piratey kind of a skull because I don't think the sugar skulls have the bones, the crossbones. And I'm going to try to center this. And since I don't want to do the crossbones, I'm going to take, well, first I'm going to take the whole thing down a little bit, the corners, two corners, so it doesn't shift on me, especially since I'm doing it on an uneven surface. Then I'm going to take tape and go over the areas here. Now if you've seen me stencil before, it's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to put a little bit of my color on a paper towel. Got a stencil brush. Take most of it off. There we go. And this looks nothing like a sugar skull yet because we have to decorate it. I'll show you this way. I went digging through stencils and and I was looking at pictures of sugar skulls since I've never made one before. And I think I'm going to use stencils to do this. So what I decided, a lot of them have like flowers for eyes 
and I went through my collection of stencils and I found these and this little one actually fits pretty well right into the eyes and I'm going to use a bright pink for this. So there's the one. I'm going to let that dry before I hit the second one. First I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and I'm going to make a dot right into the center of the eye. Then I'm going to stencil the other one. Then I have a heart that's part of this stencil that I've had forever. And I'm going to just put this down, try to center it on the nose, pick that up. Now I have this, which I thought might look, this part right here might look cool as a vine across the head, so I'm going to do that in green. Now on this one, I do want to be careful, because the stencil goes beyond the skull. All right, and then I'm going to go right here, so I don't cross that line. All right, all the parts are taped off. I'm using a green. There it is so far. I'm going to use this purple and a golf tee. And I'm just going to make some polka dots around the eyes. And then I'm going to do the same around the nose. And I'll do the same around the mouth. Now I'm going to do polka dots with the red paint on the edge of the flowers. Now some of this stuff is drying and I need to put teeth because teeth seem to be kind of a big deal. And I'm a little nervous about this. I'm just going to take this flat brush those are the teeth we're going with. Okay, what I've done is I put the stencil over it again, the original stencil, and now I'm going to take this one, but putting this stencil on, it prevents me from actually stenciling outside the lines. I probably should have thought about it sooner, but I didn't. At the final point here, I didn't go crazy crazy with the designs on here, but I think it got the point across. And now all I want to do is stencil on the, this, these roses around, around the rest of the design. Here is my sugar skull wall hanging. I need to just touch up just a teeny bit here where I smeared the red. And that's it. So I'm going to drill a little hole. I'm going to drill a hole, a partial hole into right in the middle of this board and then it'll be able to hang from that and it'll be perfect to hang on a wall perfect for halloween or whatever you want to put it up thanks for liking this video and i would love to hear what you think in the comments below remember to subscribe so you don't miss anything and we'll see you next time happy crafting